hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to use the charts in the Binance mobile app. Um, and this is just an introductory uh, video series, but it would be a crime for me not to show you how to use the charts. So let's get started. Let's launch the Binance app. And I prefer the Binance app over the, the web application because I think it just gives you a much better interface. So we'll go to the Markets tab. It's the second button from the bottom, right? So I clicked on, on uh, Markets, and we're going to go and take a look at the XRP against USDT listing. In a prior video, I showed you how to set up favorites in Binance. So, you know, that's why we're only seeing three different digital assets here. You can click across the different tabs to see digital assets uh, for, for um, different, uh, different base pairs that they have. But right now we're just talking about how to read the charts. So we'll just go with our favorites and we're gonna talk about XRP against USDT. So I'm gonna click on it. And when you first come to the charts in the Binance app, this is what it's gonna look like, okay? Um, this is a line chart, so it melds together all of the different trades to create a line. So the blue line um, is just how the price is going, and the yellow line, I believe, is that price stable stabilized. I much prefer to look at the charts using the bars, um, and I am not a trading expert, so you know, you shouldn't be using any of the information I provide as financial advice or guidance on buying or selling digital assets. This is really just a series about how to use the Binance app uh, for people who are new to it. So we're going to change this and I'm going to look at this instead um, on a different time frame. So I'm going to change this to the one day. Okay. So now what you can see is the XRP against USDT on a chart that shows um, the, the change in price for one day. So each one of these bars that you see, right, and I'm zooming in right now, and all I'm doing to zoom in is I'm putting two, two fingers on the um, grid area, and I'm either squeezing them together or pulling them apart, okay? So I'm squeezing my fingers together, and right now I'm about to pull them apart, okay? And you can use one finger, either the left or the right, to scroll to the left or the right. Okay, so right now I am using um, my right finger and moving from left to right on screen. And I'm going to use my left thumb and I'm going to move from left to right on screen. Okay, so let's zoom this back out. I'm just squeezing my fingers together using two thumbs and pulling it together. And the, the, the closer together you get, the smaller the bars will become. Right. So depending on the period you're trying to look at, you know, it's better to use um, different time periods. So this is a day chart. Right. And it allows us to go back to uh, 5, 4, 2018. And you can tell what the period is because at the very bottom of the graph, it gives you some date markers. I actually want to change this to be um, the one week chart. Right. And you know, you can still see here the amount of time that we have XRP against USD is pretty short. So, you know, for the benefit of a longer time period, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at XRP against ETH because it's been traded on the Binance app against ETH for a much longer period. And how you can change from one viewing to another, right, is you see at the very top of the application where you have the arrow pointing to the left and then you have XRP, USDT, and then a star, right? So if I click the star, since we're here right now, if I click the star, that is going to remove it from my favorites. And I'm going to add it back into my favorites because I want it there. But that's how you can add or remove a specific asset to and from your favorites. So we're going to click on um, this XRP, USD, and I'm going to go over to ETH. Actually, we're going to search in this video. So you see up across the top where we have, um, you know, it has the left arrow, markets, and then the search icon, right? And we're just going to click on the search. And now I'm going to do, I'm going to enter in XRP, and I'm going to do slash E, 
Okay, no slash. I actually see what I want right here. So we're gonna actually add it to favorites from here. So I'm gonna go XRP ETH. I'm gonna click on the star with the plus on it. And that's gonna add it to my favorites. And then I'm gonna click on the row XRP ETH because I wanna go into that chart. So we're in the one, one week chart, right? And you can actually see that we can see a lot more against XRP ETH in the one week chart, right? So this chart goes all the way back to um, November 5th, 2017 is when uh, Binance allowed XRP to be, to be traded against ETH. So let's go and look, let's see if we can get a longer period and we're gonna do XRP and we're gonna go about against BTC. Let's see what that gives us. And so it looks like, and this chart is going to take you back to the beginning of time whenever a specific digital asset was added to Binance. So it appears that XRP was added to Binance on November 5th, 2017 approximately, right? And I can, I can, I, I can drill in on this chart by just putting my finger, long pressing my finger over the chart, which gives me these crossbars so I can look at the information for an individual um, bar. So on this chart, each one of these bars is used to de denote a week, right? Because we're on the week chart. If I were to go back and change this to the one day chart, right? You see what chart I'm on because it's in yellow highlighted underneath the volume. I hope you can see that on the screen, okay? And when you do that, it automatically refocuses to the, the latest period of time, all right? And again, you can use your finger. I just put my finger on the screen and wherever it is, it creates the, the crossbars and it the information um, detailed under the volume actually shows you um, the, what the price was at that period, the H, the high price, the low price, L, what it closed at, right? So you have open, high, low, and closing um, price in Bitcoin is what we're talking about right now. The percentage change is underneath that. The number of transactions, so TXN is the number of transactions that took pay, took place in that period, okay? And the specific time period is out to the far end, okay? So let's go back and look at this against our XRP USDT. Just so it makes sense, we're talking about US dollars. It's a little bit easier for um, for people that are new to using the Binance app and aren't necessarily thinking in Bitcoin or Ethereum. So we're just gonna put our, our finger on the screen and we are on a specific bar. Let's go with a green bar. I like green bars better than red bars, right? So I'm, I'm hovered over this, this green bar and we can see that it opened at um, 0 0.50220 cents, right? It hit a high of um, 56, you know, 56 cents, um, and change. And then it hit a low of 50 cents and, and change again. And it closed at 55, five, two, three. The amount of change in this period was 10%, 10.56%. There were a lot of transactions as you can see. And the period that we're looking at is 2018, 11th month, fifth day. And we're looking at uh, six o'clock. You have to read it in military time. But if I move my finger across, right, it changes the periods. And it's always taking the reading at six o'clock on the day that we're looking at. The time will change if we're on, you know, a lower amount of, of um, time. But I think you get the idea on how to look at the details for a specific bar. Okay. So, now I'm going to move to the full screen and this is going to get crazy. Um, actually, I think I'm going to squish together two videos for that to make that work. So what else can I show you about this chart while we're here? So um, there's when you're in this view, there are a couple of different um, technical indicators that you can turn on. And I've just clicked on this SMA slash volume um, uh, link up at the top, which displays, you know, the different things that you can turn on. This isn't really a video about the different technical indicators, so I'm not going to go into them in great detail. I'm not going to go into them at all. 